fans, definitely is Hunter here and it's a Saturday. So it's the time to look for the Forex market preview for the following week, which start 15 April. This time I want to start with this amazing quote from the Sun Tzu, uh, which wrote the book The Art of the War. Uh, the quote means, uh, let's read it, so engage people with what they expect. It is what they are able to discern and confirm their projections. It settles them in the predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment which they cannot anticipate. Basically, he says that uh, uh, he's actually speaking, of, uh, let's take it to the forex, he's actually speaking about the uh, uh, stop hunts and the things uh, which, which, which is using the banks because uh, mostly uh, you know, we can see some patterns or something what is very obvious and predictable on the forex market. So it's mostly in the time when uh, something appears on the charts or on the data releases. For example, sometimes uh, we have a very positive data for the US dollar and uh, the exact opposite happens, which is that uh, the extraordinary moment. So. Uh, I just uh, highlighted this word, so engage the people with what they expect. It's for example as well what it could be, you know, sometimes you can see on the charts this, you know, the head and shoulders, you know, very, very, uh, very uh, famous uh, formations, everybody know this. So, for example, when you see this uh, on, the, on the chart, so this is what the banks, they can do it, you know, I mean, they have so much capital that they can move the market in these ways. And when they know that we see this on the chart, so many people expect to drop it. And what sometimes happens is that uh, actually, uh, actually the banks, they give you, you know, they just move it a bit. So they attract the people into the trades. And uh, so when this happened, the, the people see this, head and shoulders, market start to break and um, people start to short. So it's actually the predictable pattern of their response of it, and which is occupying their minds while you wait for the, and here is while you wait for the extraordinary moment that which they cannot anticipate. So what then can happen is you know, move up. Or, for example, what they can do, uh, if you look to the structure like this, uh, we can see, uh, let's say, let's start again with these head and shoulders, you know, and for example, here could be some uh, uh, smaller structure like a higher low, higher highs, lower highs, and then it's the break. So, uh, if this break is down and people start to short here, they put stop losses above here. Uh, which is that uh, predictable pattern of response because uh, everyone is learned to put the stop loss behind latest latest uh, swing lows or highs so that's when the market makers make this make this extraordinary moments while they start to go down or they change the total direction of the charts and uh, you probably, those who probably knows my charts, uh, I'm mostly looking to enter the trades after the stop hunts where the traders are hit. So I'm trying to do this. So this is why this amazing quote from this person uh, really hit, hit my, <laughs> let's say it hit my heart. And uh, this is something what I really like to have it and I will use it as my motto for my trading. So I found this picture and I create this like that and it's gonna be it's i will read this <laughs> very often okay so this is uh, for this just to the beginning uh, i wanted to say that this is very impo important for me this quote okay so let's go to the charts first let's start as usually uh, with the news was gonna be the next week so the monday uh, we're gonna have uh, some data from the euro zone and uh, Tuesday is about the Aussie and pound. Uh, Wednesday we will have the pound, Canadian dollar and US dollar trade balance goods uh, 
uh, good trades balance uh, and the Thursday will be very important because there's gonna be uh, these, all these news which we're gonna have which is the employment chance uh, for the Aussie there is some free news releases uh, from the Eurozone, cash retail sales and then the rest is about the dollar so a lot of opportunities uh, to engage the people <laughs> with what they expect so let's uh, let's check the charts uh, and uh, let's see what we can expect or what we can uh, predict uh, and uh, how to react on the stuff which will be happening next week so let's start with the dollar as usually uh, dollar is pretty tricky this week and i think a lot of people was uh, really uh, really surprised so what do we have here we have uh, this uh, weekly uh, let's put this uh, away for the while let's check this uh, daily chart so we have this uptrend right we have this trend line uh, someone asked me if this trend line is correct if it shouldn't be like this well the thing is that uh, if you want to connect the trend line you need to have a high which we have here then you have higher low and higher high so the trend line is like this i don't have higher high here it didn't make the high here so this is the correct trend line this was the fake break which happened uh, on the fomc like three four weeks ago and now the trend line is being tested again if the it drops here and make the new high then I will correct the trend line and it will be like this but uh, not now so now I having this and uh, I have the trend line uh, which was tested once two times here was the fake break and this is the test of the third times as well what do I have here I have these demand zones which removed these opposite zones and this is the FOMC zone so I expect if the price drop down here, I will definitely will be interested to taking the longs, which is uh, very much in confluence with the euro. You will see it on the euro chart uh, once uh, we will come there. So this is uh, for this moment on the daily. If I look to the four hours, uh, what do we see here? We see actually that uh, the price is moving up as was said, but the thing is now what is going on here uh, we can see that the uh, price is dropping down and i'm expecting it to drop down however what is going on here on this four hours chart if i count the waves so i can see that i have one two three four and i'm still expecting uh, the wave five happen so i don't know if uh, if if it will drop so uh, lower here or if it will go up down up uh, straight away right now it's the question but um let's see uh as well what is very interesting for me here is that uh, we have this channel and uh, we could probably see that uh here is definitely the stop losses this is the stop hand right because uh, what happened here we have the one second three times bounce then bullish move up and then they are this is the stop hound so the question is now that after this zone was removed which created this uh, new order block and this block was filled and it's moving down not right now and the uh, market is closing like this so what do we see we will do we will get uh, this drop down and the move up or it will will it move straight away up right now i don't know yet we will we must check the other charts and uh, as well the cut data could help us to see what is going on so we can see that from the last week which was uh, we have the data for this candle and the last week was um this candle right so what do we see we see we have the drop uh, in the longs just for the 200s and the shorts was dropped like uh, 600s nothing big uh, happened and as well this is a nothing big and the market didn't move too much there was not so big changes 
So the scenario is not very clear right now just for the, for the dollar, but uh, we must check the other charts which might could uh, give us a more more clear view. So let's continue the next one. Okay, this one is a gold. Gold is more clear for me and it's clear like uh, nothing else. I actually started to say that the gold is bearish in here and uh, how I did know that is uh, simply by checking these news and it was here on the 2nd February or on the 19th February when the longs dropped from the 270 to the 255 so I have seen this drop it was here and uh, since since that I'm bearish so we have actually short here and we have next short here this is our running trades at the moment and I'm still expecting it to drop very low because check that 270 and it was it went down to 194 <coughs> which was here is 194k longs and the last report we can see 206 so do not do not make the mistake you know, by the reading this. Uh, I have one my friend in one group and he told me uh, last week uh, about the USD JPY that it's bearish because he see the difference. But you must conclude, uh, you must uh, you must uh, know when this report was uh, uh, reported and uh, you must always know that uh, we don't have the all data because this. If you look at it this way, we can see that actually since last week the numbers growth up the two, 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 uh, from the 194 to the 206. So it means that uh, I would might think that it's bullish, right? Because it's growth of the longs. And as well, if I look to the shorts from the 95 to the 89, it looks like uh, they closing the shorts and they rising the longs. So I could might think that they going long, but you must know that the data is from the uh, previous week Tuesday till the last week Tuesday which was here and of course if the market is in the correction you can see that uh, they probably closed some long shorts in here they definitely do it in here because the banks are the only one who can do it on the lows and highs and they added longs to the move the price up so the report is here and here they will tell you that they have these numbers of course and this is why always the market start to move Wednesday uh, after these reports because the banks they of course know that here they will report to the big longs and here as well it happened the, the two weeks ago where they reported big longs but what happened the Wednesday they closed them and dropped the price low and we don't have the data for this so they're trying to confuse you yeah, right so we must look at it uh, as the as the whole picture and the whole picture is that uh, from the top where was 2070 price is dropping down okay they adding some longs here they are adding some longs here because they must do these corrections and they don't trade the intraday so for, they could be for the three weeks adding it but we know uh, where is their order blocks so we can expect that and dropping the price lower right so for me this is uh, very bearish <coughs> and uh, uh, where i took that uh, trade uh, the second one because we cannot see the zone here on the daily chart but we can see it on this four hour chart so we see that this zone removed uh, two opposing zones so it's strong zone right so we just enter a trade here simply and it's in profit right now and uh, we're holding this trade and uh, if we will get the break lower the next correction I will add one more and where is the target target is here on the weekly chart the drop will be probably down here so here, here we will get the uh, weekly trend line and the demand zone which will might to push the price up again. Uh, but it of, of course all depends on the confluences with the dollar and the other stuff. So the next one will be probably, uh, the, uh, yes this is the euro. 
And now the Euro can uh, give us uh, the more conclusion of what is about is going on on the dollar. So if you look to the daily chart, we have this downtrend and the price move up to the order block of the of the bears. Where is the price reacting right now? Now is the question if the price start to drop down from here or if it will come to the next one. And now again I'm coming to the back to this quote which I started this market preview. So uh, so this is it. Uh, here is the level everyone sees that so this you don't need to draw this uh, order blocks or the supplies demand zones as I'm drawing. You can be just normal trader or whatever. This is nothing special what I do. You can see that here is some level. Probably if you add the FIBO on this uh, swing, you will get something like the 50 FIBO or something like that. So um, I think a lot of people will already shorts probably here. They will put, they will start to shorts here. And this is what the, actually they doing the banks. They start to put, give you the, this uh, bearish candles, so you know. So they actually try to engage you in what we, what we expect, right? And uh, they could move the price like this and then just shoot up. And that would be something what we cannot participate from there. They will take the price down. And it's mostly happening as well uh, in the past because I'm always uh, keeping my odd levels uh, in the chart. And you can see as well, this is very similar with similar situation, right? You have the drop down and then was the level. Every, everyone knew that level and they, they started to shorts here. And what of course happened, start to move up. And so then what happened again, boom, up, remove this zone. So everyone start to think it's bullish. Here correction, you know, trend line moving up, no they move it down and install it so yeah so they can come they can really really uh how to say confuse you with uh, what's happening so i'm not uh, in the short right now i had the short here but i cancel it and i will be waiting for the shorts higher here because as well if i check the data of course uh, there is a uh, let's check the euro for us so that is of course uh, what we can see we can see that the banksters reduce their longs uh, and uh, they reduce their shorts and it's from this candle to this candle so what we can see they probably close their shorts uh, these from the 249 to, to 240.40 they probably close the 5 5k long somewhere down here which caused the move up and while it was moving up they probably closed these longs after this bullish run down here now we don't know what is going on here uh, but the bottom line is that uh, if we check that we can see that uh, if we move it like this we can see that the longs going from this uh, from these uh, these numbers 185 still dropping down and now we are 139 and if you look to the shorts shorts been still added and the numbers of the shorts are still growing right so right now we have a uh, little bit slightly slightly bit difference and the what are doing the hedgers they as well reducing so they as well are reducing the long so they probably i think that uh they expecting that the price will not move down right now so definitely don't short right now wait the level higher which will be as well in the confluence on the daily daily zone which is right here around 1.137 zone so shorts from here definitely will be much better than short it right now because if you short right now here as well if i come back into that it will be too much predictable so wait right so this is what i'm gonna do and with my friends in my telegram channel and uh, with in my premium group 
anyway this is the Aussie and uh, what is going on here I'm a little bit uh, surprised I mean uh, uh, this price action on the daily is really really like you know moving it, it's actually in the branch of some I don't know how much is that let's check this it's uh, actually in the range of the of the something like 100 pips range you know uh, and it's like weeks in it you know it's not good for trading uh, overall I'm still bullish with the dollar and the bearish with the Aussie and what I see right now here is this this is daily chart and uh, we are moving in this channel so I have I had short here and I've been stopped out and I actually took another short in here because here was the stop losses of the traders and I expect that uh, they will take them out and uh, and uh, then the market will start to move it start to move down a bit but I closed my trade because what I suspect more is that if I expect uh, if you remember that uh, dollar index chart where is it moving like this and we have the zone down here and I'm expecting to drop that and from there we'll be interested to take longs it means for me that uh, here we can take uh, it still could move higher uh, the dollar and from there could uh, be the Aussie short the proper one and as well uh, if I draw the stop losses like this here they of course can be here as well so I think uh, uh, these old traders must be stopped out and when they will be stopped out here will be the perfect uh, zone for the entry right with the stop loss above that if it will not work no problem we can get the stop loss because we know our risk and uh, so the shorts from here would be the next nice zone because if we look here we have this nice proper drop with this nice departure so this could be nice strong zone which is uh, nicely above in, the, in that so again nice move which they cannot anticipate and you can see how this uh, how this quad can work in this uh, in this trading really a lot i mean yeah and then um, the, we can see that of course uh, on the numbers we can see that the long been added but as well here we can see it very easily and nicely so <clears throat> the banks are adding the longs and we can see that they still adding the shorts while the why the price is moving in this in this we can see how the longs are growing how it's growing so we can see the big longs position big shorts positions being added so i think that it's uh, the position building and they adding the longs which they will simply close here after they make the stop hunt and uh, once they close these longs positions this massive order of the shorts will take the price down yeah so and the next one next one is pound and pound i decided that i will really not to trade it because if we look to this uh to this daily chart we can see it's like you know you can see this spikes up and down it's it's really tricky to trade and uh, you know if you're trying to predict uh, something what's gonna happen here uh, I think that uh, anything can happen and uh, if I look to the data we can see that uh, something uh, what I'm expecting is that uh, if I look to the shorts positions they are being closed for quite some time and uh, uh, the, the, the net positions is just six thousands and they've been actually uh, pretty massively uh, exposure to the short side you can see that there was like 50 60 thousands and since last four weeks they closed the bank closed uh, uh, the big amount of the shorts so 
uh, it's getting too positive. And if we look to the hedger side, they close their their longs as well, and uh, they are building. The, nah, their looks more negative. Eh? We can see their looks uh, like uh, 50 50, something like that. But uh, this really means something, and I think that it could be. Uh, the preparation for the long but uh, I believe that uh, here will be a lot of stop losses so if the price drop down here I will be interested to take uh, take a long uh, up and uh, if we look to the weekly here is the, as well the nice zone so this daily zone is in this weekly which I would expect to move up and this is how it looks on the four hours chart so I believe that uh, this is always happening when the banks are setting the trap. So they actually creating uh, this uh, illusion of the support. Yes, I think this is the illusion of the support where of course how many times it bounces that means that so more stop losses will be below this support. And uh, how this could be played might they could uh, you know to break this uh, trend line start to move higher which again again engage the people with uh, their expectations and uh, they will start to move the predictable and you wait for the extraordinary moment which will be the drop down into this level where all this money from the stop losses will be banked by banks and from here they could start to move up and it's of course all in the confluence with this daily weekly and uh, four hours because if i put this and i will make it uh, like that so we can see it easily and uh, let's check all the charts right so here is uh, this level on the four hours right and uh, let's see where this level is on the on the daily and on the weekly so i must put this synchronized and uh, now we see that so we can see that this four hours level is below that and uh, here is on the weekly so even i can might think that uh, even the this level lower will be better but uh, it's hard to say you know because if 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 they will take the price to this daily level that means that i will get a stop loss right here so what i could do is uh, definitely to make a make it two entries if one will works if first will works fine if not okay if it will not work the second i think will take will work so i have two options right now and the one of them will work definitely i'm not i don't want to make a, such a big stop loss you know because then you are so long in the positions you're paying the swaps and then you might could uh, end up in the loss so for me it's better uh to do the you know the smaller stop two smaller stop losses and uh no problem it's a probability game i can get the stop loss if i get the stop loss i will get it uh, it will clear my head emotions and I will get it into the entry again and uh, always I have my ratio if you, as you can see uh, this, this is the stop loss and this is the target so uh, if even if I get like uh, three times stop out and one trade now then works uh, I can e easily cover that next one is a kiwi kiwi is very boring for me you look at the weekly chart no moving nowhere this is the daily very similar chart simple pattern like on the others but uh, uh, it's in the range as well i mean this is some people could think that this is the downtrend all right i have this trend line but it's not the trend line like for the trend it's to see the how it's moving you know in the in the terms of the uh, uh market dynamics so again here i think we can see that uh, it's a nice trap nice illusion created here and uh, as i said that i expect the weaker dollar for now uh, to make that correction i think uh, uh, more people expect it as well and they are actually right but 
I think uh, here is the stop losses and it will be taken out before they move up. So they will take the stop losses out, they will start to move the price up, then some people start to short here because they will start to move, make the correction. On the lower time frames there will be some trend line which will be broken, retested, then start moving like this and then bam. It's mostly happening, this pattern is repeating. Uh, I'm watching it uh, and it looks like this. I want to show you something. I actually never use the Elliott waves, but uh, what is most of the structure? We can get to, we can get to level one, uh, one wave, second wave, third waves, and then four and five, right? And what is mostly happening that the traders who's using the trend line, they can get. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it. Mostly looks like uh, this. Something like that. Look like this, and uh, uh, and I was actually tricked by that a uh, couple of times as well. Uh, that uh, this happened to me. So I had the uh, wave one, two, three, yeah, and then I get the break of the trend line. And then the market was moving in the sideways, you know, and you have the break of the trend line, you have the zone, where was the trend line broken, and you expect the price move down. And here is where the most problems uh, comes. And I will show you on the other charts, there is as well this, exactly this pattern, uh, where you get this uh, the chart uh, shift below the trend line. And it's very important to know this uh, wave theory, about uh, when the, uh, the trend line break is confirmed with this as well. It's really, it's really give you the better odds of your trade. So uh, mostly, as I said, they make the three waves and here is a lot of people tricked and then the fifth waves happen. So I will show you this later and uh, it's as well, what I said that it's mine here, we can see that we have the wave one, we have my wave two, three, four, right? I don't know how to calculate it in here, but if we check uh, on the here, it's uh, better to see on the four hours chart. So if you put the waves, they are here. So let's see. So here was the one, two, three, four. Now, how was that? was one two three it's not the bigger one for five around here one two three okay let's check that one two three four five Okay, let's check it here. So what do we, did we see here right now? It's everything very clear because uh, the charts already happened. But uh, what many people start to do the mistake is this. So you can see that, uh, you know, the price was dropping and it gets over the trend line and start to move up, you know. So then you're expecting that this zone, which will cause the break, that it will start to move up here. But uh, obviously it will not. And I will tell you why. Because look at this. You have one, two, three, you have one, two, three, and then it needs to make, you know, the wave down. Oh, bullshit. Okay, let's check that. So here is uh, on the four hours chart, and we can see that before we had this trend line, yeah? And then uh, you can see that uh, we saw this break, and here is the zone, the bottom. And he was as well the support or the order broke or the amount or whatever, where you might could expect it to move up, but uh, it will not because you still don't have this, uh, you know, these waves which you need to have uh, with, the, with these counts like one, two, three, which makes a one, two, three, four, five, and then it start to move up. But right now, what is going on here? I still think that. Uh, these bottoms could be made before it start to move up. 
it's hard to say however i'm not interested to enter the trade here so with the with the kiwi for me is a very boring pair and uh, if i check as well the data you can see it's very i mean they okay they closed some longs they closed some longs which kind of was that it was probably this one it doesn't see so, so there was some longs close probably here and they be they closed some shorts probably down here and if you look at it this way it's like 48 52 last equals 50 50 other side doesn't have uh, any big uh, you know the sentiment so Kiwi, I'm really not interested in trade it at all. This is the USD cat. USD cat, I pretty like that pair. Uh, however, as well, this is very boring. And uh, you know, as well, what do I see is uh, simply cre being created here. Uh, we can see that the chart is right now in this range, and it's exactly what I was talking about before. Uh, we can see that we have this uh, wave one, two, three, and right now the price is moving like this, you know. So some people have these trend lines or so whatever, the price is shifting like and it start to look like really the bearish, right? But uh, the thing is that this as well. What do we see here? Again, we can see that uh, that the illusion is created here they're trying to engage the people with what they what they expect so again here is gonna be a lot of stop losses and the price is bullish it's bullish dollar is bullish canadian dollar is long term we uh if i look to the where i have uh, the data for the usd card is here okay so let's check this and even they are closing the longs and uh, they added a bit shorts between this so they added long they added shorts here and it's you know the range now everyone see this okay it was really strong support so what i'm doing right now i just wait for this moment when it start to drop and it's very difficult to take these trades because uh, how it's probably gonna happen it's not gonna be uh, uh, something like uh, the price will drop you know easily down and up i think that we will probably see this move up a bit and then sharp move down and it's very difficult to take this trade when the price is sharply moving down you know so, but uh, as well as i said it's gonna be this illusion which they are trying to create and then and it's what i wait so with the dollar correction which i'm expecting generally the dollar correction on the dollar index price if it comes down i'll go up i'm definitely not uh, interested to take a long right now because i would do uh, everything what the, everyone is doing as the crowd and i don't want to take with the crowd because 95 percent and i'm even not scared to say 98 percent of the crowd is losing so i'm not taking long yet and i'm waiting for the extraordinary moment next one is the us dollar swiss franc really hard to say what is going on here i mean we have the monthly uptrend weekly uptrend you know and the daily it was actually in the downtrend uh, technically i must say it's uh, it's the downtrend because we had these uh, two zones down and we had this uh, trend line broken then the zone and it's moving up however i am not so sure that if i want to take a trade you know from here or from here because the zone was tested the zone was tested as well so what i think will probably happen is the drop lower with the weaker dollar and where the drop will be i would like to see to take a trade here and i'm still actually having the pending order and uh, waiting for that because this zone is nice one it took out actually it it was the zone from where was created the new high right so on the weekly chart we have uh, this trend line 
and uh, boom this would be nice because right this break would be great but on the weekly we have a trend line like this so the probably if that happens it will come down somewhere oh, let's check it on the chart right so it will come down somewhere here uh, um, somewhere this will be somewhere here so uh, it would be nice something like this uh, you know fake and this around then up and it confirms me as well with the data because if I check the Swiss franc data it's here we can see that um, longs being added a bit shorts being you know it's very similar like uh, on the other pairs so overall I'm expecting that uh, that correction on the dollar will happen if not I will, I will act uh, on that uh, flexibly and here is uh, again uh, the USD JPY and here we can see that trick uh, with that uh, with that wave actually correctly which I was talking before so again um, let's see uh, weekly we are on the downtrend and here is the nice zone I, where I think the price is going so shorting the yen US yen, dollar yen would be uh, too early at the moment but so check what is going on here we have uh, this downtrend line which caused the break uh, of this one and we have these uh, two zones one zone was taken out so it created a new zone and now its market is moving sharply into this supply zone from where I think we could see this uh, this correction because uh, here as well is this stop loss cluster and uh, above that uh, right now the stop losses are being eaten and from here the short could come let's see and here is the data we can see that the banks are adding the longs and they uh, added the shorts as well and the opposite side is uh, the closing the longs positions because they doesn't expect the market move too much above so they don't need to be in the hedge so i think the reversal will come right now as i expect the dollar to be weaker and making that correction so the bigger picture is that uh, i'm actually waiting for the entry from this daily zone which is nested in this weekly zone uh, if I look to the four hours chart uh, sorry it's uh, this one if I look into the four hours chart we can see here this uh, you can see here this uh, this fake so those who are not drawing the correct trend lines those who have it uh, had it like this they probably saw some the trend line break you know so the intraday traders they could take uh, this short and make some profit on that and uh, nothing bad on that but uh, if you want to go with the trends um, you should have the trend lines which are making the high highs and high lows and this is the bullish impulse this is not the uh, not the peaks and the stuff so right now the correct trend line is actually this one like that because we must update and we probably going into this level into this one because it's uh, in the in the level with the daily as well and from there boom down move possible so this is it okay the next one is the oil I haven't been watching the oil for the some time but uh, right now it for me it looks very very interesting after this move up into the level from where we had on the monthly this huge drop so what is going on here and uh, check the data very bullish the banks are very very bullish and they still are in the longs however what do I see here is this uh, they are already at 91% to the 
bullish side, long side. What happened last time when they been you know, what 91 percent? This you see they start to close into profits, which was here, right? And uh, so check that uh, on the on the daily as well. Look. We will be in this zone very, very soon. So I'm really expecting uh, something's going to happen here and I'm adding the alert. So when the price comes into this weekly, daily, monthly zone, which is all in confluence, I definitely expect the reaction here. And it could be uh, per the, the, the technicals, it could be the reaction to the down here because we had the move up, then strong breakdown with the new supply zone, and that could be that could take us all the way down. Let's see what's gonna happen here. The next one is the Dow Jones. Dow Jones as well. I didn't watch too much, but. Uh, when I see somewhere the opportunity, that would be too nice to trade. So let's check this. Monthly, we have this broken uptrend, and the price is right now approaching the supply zone on the weekly as well, approaching this supply zone. And on the daily, we are moving in this channel, and I think this one will be taken out because so why why is this happening? More, a lot of people shorted here. Those who had uh, bigger targets, uh, the market is now hunting them. And uh, here it's gonna be the level where I want to short if it comes there. If we look to the data, we can see that the longs are still being still being added. However, the commercials are already building the shorts positions and. Uh, they not adding. They not having the big longs as they had before. So we can see that uh, they actually closed from the 20k longs, and last four weeks they are just 11. So here, 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 here. So they closed uh, the big longs uh, here, and right now they not adding the longs as they had before. What this could mean is that uh, they don't expect the price to go too much higher and uh, I think this is going to be the case. So let's see for the opportunity. So this was for the, for the majors and some indexes. Right now let's check this is the Aussie Kiwi and the Aussie Kiwi is right now in this nice supply zone. Uh, so let's see if we can get uh, this correction. Next one is the Aussian. Aussian is as well very similar with the USD JPY and as well with the with the, the Aussie. Uh, sorry, with the Aussie and uh, US dollar. So right now these stop losses are being eaten, and I expect when, once this supply zone is hit, which had this nice departure, we will probably see the reaction here. The next one is uh, Euro New Zealand dollar. The, I had the trade on the four hours chart as well as posted in my Telegram channel. Let's check this. So as again, the illusion of the strong level and once they move it higher, they start to short it, you know. So exactly, you know, you remember when you've been starting with the Forex, uh, you had your stop loss here, you have your entry, here was your target, you know, so you entered it, and then boom, the market was going down. They actually took your stop loss out and then they go up. And it's because, and you start to think that maybe someone knows exactly where you have stop losses. <laughs> this is actually what the banks know. They exactly knows where is the stop losses. And uh, once you start to watch uh, these patterns, when they start to do the illusions of the supports, uh, you can uh, you can guess where they have the stop losses. The most of the people and where the banks will go because uh, these zones are like the magnets for them. It's the liquidity. It's the money. So this is why they're going there and uh, how they making the average price of the for the entries for them 
The next one is the Euro Yen and uh, I actually had uh, the one short trade here. I was stopped out and uh, right now I'm thinking that we could see the move up higher here and from there might the bigger correction could come. So if we check it on the daily, it could look like this because uh, one stop loss is here, one stop loss is above here could be taken out and from here we could see the stop loss uh, sorry the reverse out what actually as well will happen uh, right now the correct trend line is like this and you can see it's moving up and down so very confusing uh, those who take the trade down here for the longs uh, congratulations you are very good but uh, what as well will happen is that actually look at this so once the price make uh, the new high here the trend line will be like that so you will see that uh, ah, okay we have the trend and exactly at this moment they will start to uh, they will start to uh, reverse the market so it's very difficult that, that they are actually always uh, like uh, one step ahead so as well with the, the with the doing the analysis you must actually uh, predict something what is not on the charts what is not predictable and what is not so obvious okay this is the canadian dollar yen and uh, i have the trades here on the four hours charts which i'm looking for and uh, so what do we have we have the markets moving uh, market moving up in this channel and um, we are now in this four way five so here is uh, like a first option for the trade but uh, look what's what is here uh, you know again uh, we have uh, one high second highs which are now being taken out but here is still these ones so uh, what does that mean that means that in this zone always here will be the stop losses so this trade will probably not work and the more more obvious more more expectable thing is that we will see that the market will touch uh, the stop uh, of the channel which is uh, in confluence with this perfect zone which taken this price down so taking the longs uh, could be good but uh, you need to wait after this level is taken out and then the retracement because where will be the good level to take entry will be this one if this level will be will be removed this one will be the uh, zone where was the accumulation created for the removing this level so like this and then down and it will be bigger drop and this as well with the confluence with the USD CAD where I expect this uh, correction. Yeah, okay, and this is probably this is probably it. This is uh, all the charts which I have right now at the moment. I of course have uh, the many charts uh, where I do my my analysis and my predictions uh, and uh, the trading plan. However, I must uh, still. Uh, reanalyze all these charts because I have lost all my drawings thanks to the trading view anyway this is uh, the trades which I have and I'm expecting that uh, I have many more in my uh, telegram channel and uh, my premium group okay guys so this is everything from me at this moment and uh, please visit my youtube channel and uh, sign up because there is a lot of videos uh, which you can watch and uh, uh, which will answer even the down there which will answer a lot of your questions uh, so definitely visit my telegram channel and visit my website where you can join the telegram channel and as well the premium memberships just for the small donations as well there is a weekly analysis all of them so simply check that and uh, join me this is everything from me and uh, as i said yeah in my telegram channel simply you can see a lot of things so definitely join my telegram channel because there's a lot of these moves which are happening not even the trades i don't 
take some of them, but uh, I paused the analysis uh, about this. You know, this is the gold where I was expecting this move up, then the, then the drop, and we have this trade actually. Yeah, this is the that Aussie where I predicted this stop hunt and then drop down, which is happening right now. This is the Aussie. This is the Aussie N where I was expecting this move up again as well. This is happening right now. The price is somewhere here. So a lot of things uh, you can, uh, uh, I think, uh, definitely useful for everyone. So don't hesitate to visit uh, my Telegram channel. And this is the next quote which I, which I want to end this forex market preview. So simply the consistency builds the confidence and control. This is it from me, my friends, and enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye.